Hi everyone. We're now entering week six of Soulful Self and gratitude is the attitude. Um, and this week isn't just about gratitude, but it's about the frequency that we carry. It's about the attitudes that we take on. You know, this is kind of our emotional body in action, our emotions in motion. And when it comes to that, what, a couple things I'm kind of tired of hearing from, I feel tired hearing from people, just to be completely honest, is hearing stuff where the bottom line is people feel powerless, you know, and especially when it comes to people being empathetic, they behave like it is such a burden on them to, to be able to tap into the emotional frequency of the people around them when it really isn't a burden at all. It's just that they, that they're lacking awareness in that emotions are information. You know, emotions are also, they're chemical, they're informative frequency carriers. They assist us in measuring where the energy is in motion so we can go with the flow, redirect it, or disengage completely. Our, emotion, our emotions are not us, but an undercurrent or influence that helps drive our decisions and interactions. And so we must pay attention to kind of our emotional rhythm because that's really how we can, um, can track our cycles and what's going on and when, what we're manifesting and materializing within this space. Because um, the emotional body is a, is a beautiful um, connector between the spiritual and mental self, selves. In my practice, that's what I believe. Um, and so when we're not operating or avoiding our emotional self, as well as not, you know, carrying the right frequency within that, within that emotional body, there's a disconnect between the spiritual, mental, and then, you know, consequently physical um, bodies. And so that is, that is one link where I feel like we become most charged up, you know, um, no matter how mindful you are, if you don't have the capacity to decipher and interpret and, and, um, really engage with your emotions in a constructive way, then, um, you're kind of just allowing something or someone else to steer the ship for you, especially in this time where, you know, with the media and with all of the screens that we interact with on a daily basis, there's always some type of emotional manipulation going on. And so how are we feeding into it for better or for worse? Are we allowing ourselves to disconnect from things emotionally when we have um, an obsessive tendency toward it? Um, whether that be negative or positive, because it still influences our actions. And so understanding that even when we're emotionally triggered, if we can just offer a, a quick moment of gratitude for that, just to get excited to see that, hey, I'm catching this right now. I'm observing this right now, you know, and I'm adjusting my attitude accordingly to, to how I feel like what I want the outcome to be, what I want to feed my energy to, what where my power is going here. And in order for us to truly rise above the, you know, pre preconceived ways of being, we, we have to cultivate that type of awareness, that type of emotional awareness. So this isn't just about understanding what's going on within yourself, but it's understanding how whatever's going on in here affects out here because it's all connected. We all know this. And so offering ourselves a chance to build um, and, and carry the right energy to carry out the right momentum, the right actions, the right interactions, um, responses to things. So don't be ashamed of emotion. Don't shy away from being an empathetic being and really being able to tap into and feel out what's going on within the collective or just the room that you're in because it's all information. And if we can allow ourselves to put on like our little scientist cap, it becomes easier to navigate these things. We still have heart, of course, you know, that's, that's, that's something we'll always have with us if we're doing things um, from a higher, from a higher plane of being. But it is important to 
be that observer, be that scientist, experiment in order to experience something different, you know? Like you can observe, create an if-then statement, a little cause and effect here, and then seek out new consequences, seek out new then. So you're just playing around with the equation a little bit. It, and it sounds simple and I know it's, it is simple and it sounds simple, but I understand that sometimes we just get caught up in that momentum, in those emotions, and we end up in this whirlwind of sensation that you know we believe is us when it isn't fully us. And that's why I've been posting stuff about in like in inspire, respire, expire, it's breathing, breathing, using the power of breath to gather yourself and to sort through what is here for you to receive it and expel all the things that are not and then to move forward and to take action in the ways that most align with who you are, most align with that with that frequency, with that quality of energy that is meant for you. And so when you gather yourself, there's no room for anything else to exist within you. So, and that includes gathering information, understanding those emotions, figuring out what you're picking up on and how it's affecting you. And I think that a lot of us are kind of in that space right now, especially, and, you know, taking the time to rest and to care for ourselves in order to really redefine the way forward. You know, we've had this beautiful explosion of, of response and action. Now it's time, okay, I have to gather myself again. You know, it's like we've had this exploded view of ourselves and everything, and now it's time to restructure, reform, um, to rest and reform. So I just wanted to kind of touch on that a little bit. I'll be doing another video um, for week seven and then week eight, we're actually gonna have a group uh, call. I'm I'm feeling like I may invite you all if you'd like to join. Um, so watch out for information regarding that if you've been following along with each week's themes, lessons, prompts, whatever practices you wanna call them. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you all soon. Have a lovely week. I'm here if you need me, bye.